Today we're taking booze in the kitchen and making Canadian punch. For this drink, you're going to need a rocks glass, a large measuring cup, a wooden spoon, a cutting board, a knife, a measuring cup, a mixing bowl, a punch bowl and a ladle, and optionally, a pineapple slicer. This drink uses rye whiskey, Jamaican rum, pineapple, lemons, water, sugar, and soda water. The origin of this drink is pretty murky. It shows up in the 1862 edition of Jerry Thomas's Bartender's Guide, but there's no context given for it. According to David Wondrich in his book Punch, this drink was designed to work with overproof spirits, particularly in the case of the rye. That's why there's so much water added to the punch. But since the rye I'm using is 80 proof, I upped the amount of rye and lowered the amount of water. If you have a barrel proof rye, you'd make it two to one, water to rye. But in this case, I'm making it nearly one to one. I'm using a Canadian rye, but you don't have to adhere to that just because Canadian is in the name of the drink. Feel free to use your favorite rye, particularly if it's overproof, and preferably if it's barrel proof. Lemon pairs with most spirits, but pineapple is a little more particular. However, it works really well with rye, and of course with rum. This is a light, citrusy, fruity punch with just the right amount of sweetness. It's perfect for a party, but you might want to put a warning label on it because it's strong enough to turn out your lights. The original recipe was four times the size of this one. This downsized recipe makes about 12 servings, so scale it the way you need it. We're gonna start with the pineapple. Slice off the top, stand it up, and core out the middle with the pineapple slicer. If you don't have a pineapple slicer, just shave off the bark and cut spears out of the pineapple. Once you hit the bottom of the pineapple slicer, pull out the core. For this recipe, you're gonna to wanna to use about a quarter of the pineapple. The rest can be used for pina coladas. Add a quarter of the pineapple to the mixing bowl. Next, slice up three lemons. Chop them into wheels and drop them into the mixing bowl. Measure 22 ounces or 650 milliliters of rye. Add that to the mixing bowl. Measure four ounces or 120 milliliters of rum. Add that to your mixing bowl. With this measuring cup, that's two pours. Then let that rest for six hours. You don't want to muddle any of the fruit. You just want them to steep in the booze. Later, combine your sugar and water. Measure three ounces of sugar, add that to your punch bowl. With this measuring cup, that's two pours. Measure 18 ounces or 350 milliliters of water, add that to the punch bowl. Stir them together until the sugar is completely dissolved. Then pour your booze and fruit into the punch bowl. When you're ready to serve it, pop open your can and add eight ounces or just under 250 milliliters of soda water to the punch. If you don't have soda water, you can just use plain water instead. Give it a quick stir and lower in a block of ice. Next, add an ice cube to your chilled glass and ladle the punch into the glass. I like to garnish it with a fresh lemon wheel because it makes for a better presentation. But feel free just to use one of the booze-soaked wheels from the punch bowl if you prefer. And there you have it. Canadian punch. Enjoy. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the two printed recipes, check out the description below.